My name is Vahid Chitsas, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning or this afternoon. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Okay. I'm Ray Versa from Los Angeles, California. I'm with Thunder Marketing Agency. Awesome. Awesome. So listen, I got some questions regarding, well, the first thing I want to ask is, what does the word influencer mean? So essentially, influencer is someone with a huge with a significant following to where they have a unique audience. So basically someone like David Dobrik is like the prime example. He has one of the largest followings on Instagram to where the point he's even influencing young adults or he got a teen choice award. That is awesome. So as long as you have followings and you can influence, you're called influencer, right? Uh, essentially, but some of the clients we see actually have um, publications. They have like a lot of PR going on to where they're able to get verified on Instagram. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. The, my next question would be, what's the difference between branding and marketing? Because I see there are a lot of coaches and obviously I work with a lot of influencers, coaches, authors, individuals that do need to put their content out there. And I know there's a difference between branding and marketing. I wanted to get your opinion, which one should they do more? Or where do you see they go wrong mainly? Well, so with the way things are going now, moving forward with trends in this year, we're seeing marketing actually be a part of branding. Like your brand itself is how you market yourself. So now we're seeing companies to where they, their whole storytelling is what helps them market themselves. People love transparency, especially millennials and Generation Z kids. It's all about the story behind the company. It, like the customer, your customers, your audience, they want to see your vision and be part of your journey with you. How, what are some of the steps that someone could translate that or communicate that or put that out there? Because I feel like a lot of times this story is much longer or, or more in depth than what they, the, the influencer or the coach puts out there. Okay. So, I mean, like, um, I, I helped an e-bike company start from the ground up. So their whole story is basically they wanted to move forward and help the economy. They wanted to move in electrical bikes because they felt like that was how we're moving forward, like riding on Tesla's, like, uh, pintails moving forward. But also um, the owner, he did this, you know, he used to, he grew up riding bikes with his grandpa. It was like a very home family thing with him and it's a mom and pop shop so he wanted to sh you know take that experience and share it with you know his community with his um, customers so they're growing together with that brand and it's and he's targeting uh, middle class to make bikes more affordable we're seeing specialized bikes go for like thousands of dollars but he's like that's ridiculous let's make something more affordable you know just a couple hundred okay now individuals like that when they come in is, does it need to be always in a realm of, of, of a physical, tangible product, or you can do that with things that are digital these days? Oh, so this is my favorite. So uh, my coach, uh, Ryan Fisher, perfect example of providing a service. He trains not just people. He doesn't just do online coaching. He also does programming for affiliate gyms. So he's actually helping gym owners become more successful, develop and like help their clients do better. He's basically starting this whole new movement. So that's part of it too. All right. So let's say I'm, I'm in digital products and digital realm. What are a couple of things that I must do initially to get that brand out there or, or get my message out? Because I feel like a lot of the business owners that have good content I don't feel like they're marketers. Oh, I see. So it, it might be, they might be missing the storytelling element. Uh, when new companies start off, you have to start local. You have to start within your community and start small. It's the only way to do it now to where you, you build up your identity with your community. And if you're in clothing, you're essentially selling a uniform to your community members. And then from there, it's the ripple effect. You just grow and grow and grow. That is awesome. Now, here's my other question for you. Let's say there are entrepreneurs or coaches are out there. I'm not saying they need to go learn marketing so they do marketing. 
so they could do it themselves. But if somebody's out there, the, I get this question all the time, so I figured I should pass it on to you. Hopefully, okay. you give me the answer. I promise I won't take credit for it. I'll let them know that you know Ray told me that. But Perfect. where do they go to learn the fundamentals of marketing? Is there a course? Is there a program? Is there? Do you just have them watch other Instagram accounts or other social media accounts and kind of learn? I feel like there needs to be an authority in that sector where people could just say, "Go watch the basics here. At least this will give you the foundation." Yeah, so I mean, yes, the information is out there. There's like YouTube, there's all these o online resources, but I'm self-taught. I've learned everything from hands-on experience. I was originally pre-med, so this is a whole unique thing. It's always been my passion. I've loved doing this on the side, and it came to the point where I wanted to do it full-time, and I moved forward with it. But you can learn, like you can take classes. You could do um, that, new, um, that new online a course like master class or something they have some good information too but essentially i've been hands-on i've been learning from some of our clients some of the influencers we know directly they've all been kind of helping me to where it's shaped my overall experience instead of knowledge that is awesome now what are some key words that i need to put on youtube to learn marketing. Because when you put marketing, there's like a billion videos. Obviously, no one's going to sit there and watch them. But what are some of the keywords that individuals could search? And then that kind of gives them the idea and go. Because marketing by itself is, is it's too broad. It's too yeah, general. It's a huge umbrella term. So we have to look at it where you're starting from. Is it like, uh, is it lead development? Is it uh, market email? Uh, sorry, email marketing building email campaigns? Is it social media content marketing? It depends what you're doing, but there's essentially, it's gonna be marking with another type of term to get you specifically what you want. Or you're gonna be seeing thousands upon thousands of videos. Yeah. Definitely there's, I mean, listen, you put Instagram marketing, there's like a gazillions of videos. Now, I tell you the strategy I've done, I don't know if this works for other people, but it's just my suggestion. I'm just putting out there. Typically, when I wanna go do learn marketing, if the video was produced more than 12 months ago, I don't even watch it. Honestly, because I figured like, you know, things have changed so much in the past six months that I can't see how things stayed the same. Let's say someone has got Facebook marketing or, Instagram marketing or email, whatever the case, whatever marketing you want to put, whatever vocabulary you want to put before it, if it's from a long time ago, I feel like unless he's talking about the fundamental, to me it's obsolete because things are changing on a daily basis. Oh, I completely agree. Like SEO, SEO stuff shifts every, like every six months to a year. And it's the same with social media. The algorithms do change because the platforms become more and more saturated every year. So I, I full heartedly agree with you on that. It's a good rule of thumb. So tell us, what is it that you do? Who do you help? What, what do you do for clients? So um, when we first started the agency, um, we were moving forward from just brand deals, essentially getting brand deals for influencers. So you see on YouTube, like... Wait, what's a brand deal? I forgot to ask. Tell them what the brand oh. deal is. Because individuals may not know what that is. Okay, so a brand deal is literally what you see Kylie Jenner shouting out those Raycon AirPods or those uh, sponsorship videos of the day on YouTube. That's a brand deal. So that's how we first started. We know these influencers from you know social functions or friends of friends in LA, and we just kind of you know expanded from there. And we've done outreach for other clients where we just expanded our, our roster exponentially. So we have moved on from just being influencer marketing to management to now we're starting to go full digital marketing now. So, okay, so let's elaborate. What is digital marketing? What does it mean? So it's, it's, also, it's social advertising. So it's Google ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Pinterest ads, Amazon, eBay, everything. So we are helping with content creation, editing, modification, social media growth, campaign management, creative strategies, and then even some brand development. Some companies uh, have, some smaller businesses have liked our direction and help as we help them redevelop their brands, we're able to see those numbers increase as we're helping their customers understand their story and how they've been moving forward. It's been helping us market for them a lot easier. So it's a combination of all those elements. Love it, love it. Now, personal question. What do you do for your self-development? 
where do you get your content? So, so for me, um, it's I. I typically share like some snippets of what I do on the day. Like um, we just got a new office in Venice. I've been kind of like highlighting that, some of the art in that studio, some of our new furniture. Just because you know it, it's exciting for me because we're just you know we're finally doing that well to where we're able to get you know a new a new site. So you know it's some of the behind the scenes stuff or just random you know food, you know either or. Got it. What's your favorite self help book? Oh. Um, Ooh, that's tough. There's a lot. Um, I would Give say me the Hal, top two. I would say Hal's pretty good, and then um, Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willings. That one's probably helped me be more resilient and more focused on learning and developing my skill set. Say the name one more time. Extreme Ownership. Ownership. Yeah. I have not seen that. Cool, cool. Listen, how do people find you? Um, so there's uh, my handle, Ray Versa Jr. at Instagram. Um, there's our website is really good. And then you could also shoot me a direct email. So Ray at Thunder, T-H-U-N-D-R-R dot co, C-O. And then our website's Thunder dot co. Listen, I want to thank you so much for taking this time and being with us today. Hopefully we'll be able to do more videos because... Some of these topics, we need to elaborate a lot more and we could definitely go in depth. Thank you so much for being here. Definitely awesome. stay safe in LA, man. Stay safe. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. You got it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. All right, take care.